So hello, I have made a couple of travel videos before and uh, this one is a special travel, it was my first internet tour, the first tour apart from tours in Denmark where I was on my own, I was 18 years old, it was my first interrail tour. The interrail card was a little uh, booklet like this where you wrote your own, uh, your own uh, tickets and uh, it was uh, marked by uh, in the trains and then uh, you only had to pay more if you used a courgette or you used a sleeper or some luxury trains but at that time in 72 there were a lot of night, night trains there were lots of uh, long ordinary trains where you shouldn't pay anything so the her total expense was uh, 500 crowns in modern money that would be uh, around um, say 60 70 euro and uh, even then it was much more of course in uh, 72 but even then it was a cheap way to see europe but it was the first time i went out i uh, didn't know much about traveling so i expected i could sleep in use hostels around europe i have booked a few, few but uh, mostly i expected just to find them this video be, will be made in this way i'll show you I'll tell you about uh, the countries I visit in the language of those countries and after each uh, language block I'm going to give you an Eng English summary. And uh, let's start out with Danish. Jeg købte det første, uh, det første af mine ni interrail kort i 1972. Jeg tror nok det havde nummer 25 eller sådan noget. Det var i hvert fald et af de allerførste i Danmark. Og uh, 1972 sommeren brugte det på en tur i rundt i Europa. Jeg vidste ikke ret meget om øh, geografi, jeg vidste ikke ret meget om øh, hvordan man rejste, og jeg havde ikke ret mange penge. Jeg var fattig studerende, så jeg tog afsted med toget til Hamburg. Jeg skal binde med dem Zug nach Hamburg gefahren, og øh, jeg bin in den spæten nachmittag gekommen. Jeg skabte en Zug nach Holland, Huck van Holland, øh, til selv ved nacht, und Ich bin dort geblieben. Ich habe Hauptbahnhof verlassen den ganzen Abend. Ich, war, ich hatte kein Geld für Bars. Ich möchte eigentlich keinen Bars. Hamburg hatte einen Ruf mit Reeperbahn und St. Pauli. Es war fürchterlich. Ich habe nur Hauptbahnhof gesehen. Aber ich bin mit dem Zug nach Huck von Holland gefahren. As I said, I took the train from Denmark from Kolling down to Hamburg. I arrived in the late afternoon after the museums and the zoo and things like that had closed. So, what should I do? I didn't want to visit places like uh, St. Pauli and Reeperbahn and things like that. That was terrible and I didn't have the money even. So I stayed at the railway station, the main railway station, which is big but not that big, from around, to, say, what was it, maybe, let's say 6 o'clock in the evening to 3.30 in the night, and then I took the train to Hook van Holland. Uh, glücklicherweise gab es uh, dort ein Mitreisender, der mich gezeigt hat, wie man uh, die Sitze austragen könnte, und zwei Sitze konnten dann eine ganz vorzüglich uh, Lage bilden, drei Personen oder vier Personen uh, pro uh, Abteil, das war ganz uh, praktisch, Dann habe ich gerade dort gesehen, man konnte eigentlich in den Zügen schlafen. Nicht schlecht. I, luckily in the first train to Hook van Holland I found a another traveler who was more seasoned than I was and he showed me how you could drag the, seat, the, place, the, the, the seats from each side and let them meet in the middle so you could get a nice bit across the compartment and uh, at least three or four persons could sleep uh, easily in such a compartment without any problems. I thought already then, well, that was useful. I could make use of that trick later. So, I stopped at the train in Amersfoort and the first thing I tried was milk was a milk and bread to cope. But the milk was a thin plastic sack and it was pure chaos uh, tonic I tried to drink. Jeg drejte ret snell nach Amsterdam, men det var en lykke og en interessant start. 
Ik vond het bij het Miraleuze Wezen, het Troppenmuseum. Dit was mijn eerste echte attractie op die Dreesweert. Ik heb ook uh, uh, zo artiest gezien. Ik reed in de avond naar Rotterdam, waar ik de Jeugdherberg niet kon vinden. En dat dacht ik, we landen in de eerste, in het reuze havengebied. En ik kreeg helemaal uh, geen slaap de hele nacht. Ik ben erom geambuleerd. De volgende nacht reed ik naar Antwerpen, waar ik een tram gevonden heb. De in uh, theorie moet uh, de Jeugdherberg uh, van Antwerpen passeren. Maar ik heb niet gevraagd waar ik moet uitstappen. En dus uh, eindelijk ik uh, terug op het station. Daarna haaste ik naar Brussel. Well. Mijn eerste uh, stop in de uh, low country was Amersfoort, een little town, waar ik to change trains om naar Amsterdam te gaan. En het eerste thing ik thought of uh, was getting something to eat and drink. I had bought some bread and I could only get milk in the plastic bag, thin plastic bag. I tried one to it was pure chaos. I uh, had a problem there. I, oh, uh, but uh, I got to Amsterdam. I found, uh, I don't know how, I walked around and I found the Tropen Museum, which is of the tropics, and uh, later I, on the way back I found uh, Soatis, Salatil uh, Garden. Then I uh, got to Rotterdam. I had planned to sleep in Rotterdam. Well, Rotterdam was bombed during the war, so it was not, not very pretty. And uh, somehow I ended up in the enormous har harbor area somewhere. I don't even know how I got out there and I found back by taking a bus back some... It was a problem, uh, but I walked around and walked around and I didn't find anywhere to sleep, so I uh, didn't get any sleep that night. Not for the first time that tour, on that tour. So the first thing I did in the morning was to go to uh, Antwerpen in Belgium. There I asked somebody, I think it was English, maybe German, um, English I think. And I was told, take that tram and then you can get back, uh, get to the youth hostel. Because I wanted to sleep this night. But uh, I didn't ask where to get off and uh, the result is I took the tram round and suddenly, ah, that's the railway station again. I just taken the tour round. And uh, left the town, I was angry. I got to Brussels. À Bruxelles, il y a évidemment deux auberges de jeunesse. Il y avait l'auberge de jeunesse de jeunesse euh, flamande, il y a l'auberge de jeunesse française. Et j'ai euh, dormi une nuit euh, dans l'auberge française qui était très, pr euh, très proche de, de la carte du Nord et j'ai vu évidemment le centre de la ville. J'avais un problème, il y avait seulement des restaurants, des des bars, des, quelques musées aussi, un grand place, c'était très beau, là. mais euh, j'ai cherché des supermarchés et euh, rien trouvé, j'ai eu très faim à, mon, à ma visite euh, dans le centre de Bruxelles, une ville euh, connue pour euh, sa gastronomie, mais j'ai dormi. Après euh, Bruxelles, j'ai continué à Paris. J'étais très euh, naïf. Euh, alors, euh, je n'ai pas osé laisser la scène de ma vie. J'ai visité. Je ne me pas. Euh, euh, Louvre, évidemment, Notre-Dame. Je crois même euh, à cette époque, j'ai vu euh, le jardin des plantes euh, où il y avait une petite ménagerie. Un, un, un jardin zoologique très, pas, pas très beau. Et après, euh, mes, ma nuit blanche euh, flamande, j'ai du moins euh, pu dormir dans le train vers Lyon. À Lyon, j'ai acheté des bouteilles d'encre, rien de plus, je n'ai rien vu, et j'ai continué à mes lents. Oui, well, uh, of course, there are two in, uh, youth hostels in uh, Bruxelles. What could you expect? Anything but that in a country like Belgium. I slept in the French one, which was close to the railway station, the northern railway station. And then I visited the center. I was very hungry because they only had restaurants and bars, and I had not money for that kind of things. I was looking for super supermarkets. I didn't find any in the center. So I was hungry in a town known for its gastronomy. 
but I had slipped, and that was a good thing. Continued the uh, tone. Paris, where I was so uh, afraid of leaving uh, the Seine out of my sight that I only saw Louvre and uh, Notre Dame, and I think I even at that tour also saw uh, Jardin de Plante, where there is a menagerie, they call it, a little zoological garden, which was very bad at the time it has been renovated l later, and but at that time it was not very good. But I didn't sleep at Paris. I continued uh, at Lyon, and at that time there were no TGV. The trains were slow, so I got some night uh, and one night sleep in the train. But the wagons were very bad in that time, whereas in uh, Germany and uh, the low countries the trains had uh, compartments with six seats, which could be dragged out. In France, they had eight. Place, uh, seats in each compartment and they could not be dragged out. It was not very comfortable. But I arrived at Lyon. I did nothing in Lyon but buy some some, some uh, ink and then I continued to Milan. I was arrived to Station Garibaldi and I think I was going to Station Central. Now I know where there was Station Garibaldi and I was going to I was in un cimitero monumentale, non sapevo che cosa da fare. Ma un uomo mi, uomo mi ha explicato per fortuna in italiano comprensibile. Andare per i buoi e poi l'uomo. E ho compreso. I buoi, the oxen. E poi, cattedrale. Ho trovato il cattedrale, ho trovato anche il museo di storia di naturale con il tre ceratope e tutto era bene ho trovato anche stazione centrale ho continuato in uh, Roma ho dormito nel treno a uh, Roma c'è un uh, principio molto semplice si deve prendere l'autobus uh, 64 e che ha uh, da stazione Termini a San Pietro, ho visto San Pietro, ho visto i musei dei Vaticani, del, del, del Vaticano, e ho visto il Vaticano, il Colosseo, Roma, Roma era, un, um, era molto facile da visitare. Più tardi, lo stesso di, eh, giorno, ho visitato Firenze, ma solamente per vedere il Duomo. Avevo intenzionalmente trovato un treno lentissimo eh, da Firenze a Venezia. Ma un conduttore opaco mi ha cacciato in un treno all'alta velocità e così sono arrivato a Venezia a mezzanotte. E io ho creduto che, fo che fosse ero furbo. Hm. Così ho dovuto camminare per i vicoli a eh, Venezia per tutta la notte. Ma non è il peggior posto per passeggiare una notte. Eh, an camminando. L'intera città è un'attrazione. Ho con continuato a uh, uh, Vienna. I went to Milan, as I said, and uh, I arrived at Station Garibaldi, which was a problem because I didn't know where it was. It was because it's early morning, then the Station Central is not, apparently not open. So I walked around and ended up in a churchyard called the Cimitero Monumentale, and there I asked in my very primitive Italian, Oh, Duomo, 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 he has said, uh, find the oxen, and then <coughs> that's Duomo. I understood that. And I found the cathedral, the big white one with thousand towers, and uh, I found even Behind it, I found the Museum of Natural History with a big uh, dinosaur called the Trecheratropus. And uh, I found my way back to the railway station and I got a train down to Rome. Rome is a very easy piece of cake. Just take the bus 64, it goes from the Stazione Termini and it, it ends up at uh, uh, San Pietro. And I had even time to go to Firenze the same day just to pass through pa by the cathedral. And at Firenze, I got a good, good idea. I would take a very, 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 very slow train to Venezia. And then I could arrive in the morning and uh, see the town. The problem was 
Some employee of the railway uh, thought he would uh, do me a service and I was chased over in a fast train and arrived at mi midnight. I didn't have money to sleep, certainly not in Venetia. So what could I do? The only thing I could do was to walk around in the town all night. Luckily, Venetia is a nice place to spend a night walking around in the small streets. It's a uh, three star or whatever, seven star attraction. And uh, the town is the attraction, so in the night it is just as interesting. And uh, I continued to Vienna. In Wien, I have a bus genauen and I've been uh, in the centrum angelangt. I have a Steffel gesehen, I have a uh, uh, Naturschutz Museum gesehen, I have a Kunstmuseum gesehen, I've been back. And uh, that was all. But I have da Ein Zug genommen, ich wollte nach Deutschland, dieser Zug Mozart. War, fuhr aber den ganzen Weg nach Paris und ich weiß nicht warum. Ich bin mit dem, diesem Zug den ganzen Weg nach Paris gefahren. Nach Strasbourg musste ich einen Zuschlag zahlen, weil es dort von dort rapid war. Ein Train rapid. Und er Paris. Uh, j'ai acheté des, encore des, euh, des disques, j'avais déjà acheté quelques disques. Uh, Qu'est-ce qui est arrivé uh, À Carte du Nord, je l'ai posé et j'ai bu, euh, bu un peu de l'eau et non. Uh, on a quelqu'un a volé mes disques. J'ai acheté de nouveaux de nouvelles disques, mais alors je n'avais pas d'argent. Et j'ai continué à Düsseldorf. Von Düsseldorf, euh, je, dort, von dort bin ich nach Hause gefahren. Und äh, ich habe also nur drei Wochen äh, Ferien gehabt. Es können äh, vier Wochen sein, aber ich hatte kein Geld. Ich war schmutzig, ich war müde und ich war ganz äh, fertig. Ich habe da dann äh, später äh, noch achtmal äh, Interrail gemacht. Heute ist es äh, nicht wert, sowas zu machen, weil es so wenig äh, Nachtzüge gibt, Verbindungen gibt und äh, auch weil die Züge meistens mit äh, Zuschlag äh, äh, sind. Man reservieren, man muss äh, Zuschlag zahlen und einige äh, Züge, dafür ist es gar nicht gültig. Meiner Meinung nach ist äh, diese Karte nicht wert, heute zu kaufen. Aber ich habe es getan und ich bin froh, dass ich so viele Mal Europa durchgefahren bin. Well, I continued from uh, Vienna. I, in Vienna I did, uh, did take a bus to the St. I saw uh, the cathedral, I saw the natural history museum, the art museum. And from Vienna I took a train called Mozart. I had planned to stop in Germany, but for some reason I didn't. I continued to Paris. I bought some records, I had already a couple of records from Vienna, and um, they were stolen. I wa just took uh, some water at the garden door and they were gone. I bought more, but uh, with my last money gone, then I, I returned home after only three weeks. At all my later tours I could take uh, the full four weeks, and I didn't arrive uh, as uh, dirty and tired and uh, fed up as I was after the first tour. Uh, some of the later said I did 30,000 kilometers a couple of times uh, with 60 towns and uh, it was maybe too fast. Nowadays I would say the internal card isn't worth buying. There are too few night trains, there are too many supplements and uh, you have to reserve and uh, all of those things. It is not the free experience it was once and it, the economy has been spoiled when you have to pay all those uh, supplements. And now we have even got the cheap flights. So uh, goodbye to the internal card but I'm glad I had the chance to use it while it was worth using.